main topic of this episode, though, is uh, your um, impressive effort at Nathan's hot dog eating contest. My, oh, man, my start was so bad to the point that I thought about faking, like, fainting or something. Like, <laughs> can, can I faint here and just, like, get out of it? Believe me, it could have gone a lot worse, man. To see uh, Joey Chestnut get two hot dogs. And he's, like, chewing down on it. So he's like, Joey Chestnut just hit 13 hot dogs. And I'm looking at my counter and I'm like... That says two. <laughs> I look at Webby. Webby's on like 10. I look at Dar- Darian's on eight and he's ranked like 10 places lower than me. And I'm like, what the f- am I doing here? <laughs> Did you sh- whole hot dogs out the next day? <laughs> laughing face. The f- and sh- flew back out and a piece of sh- went in my eyeball <laughs> and sprayed on the ceiling, like splashing it, trying to get the sh- in the eye. <laughs> uh, needless to say, I woke up the day after with pink eye. I actually thought I was going to lose my eye. <laughs> Adam. And I'm Josh. And welcome back. This is the Breaking Bread Podcast. And you know what I found incredibly surprising this week? Other than those naked pictures of Hugh Edwards' ass going around. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that. I, I, well, I've seen them now, so I can definitely say it. Is the amount of people who said that they they, uh, they were upset that there was no episode last week, which was entirely my fault, by the way. Um, but yeah, that's, it's always surprising to me. How you been, me old China? It's been a minute, hasn't it? Yeah, look, how Jack, you see, look, everyone. Look how jacked he's looking. I'm, I think he might be on the D-ball. A little bit of uh, Anavar on his fucking shreddies in the morning or something. Nice, thanks for the compliment. I appreciate it. It's all right. That. It's either that or it's just like a, a choosing more befitting t-shirts. No, no. I've, I've worn this many many yeah. podcasts. Gains, man. Gains. I do. I would I would like some of that um, Mexican supplements, though. I reckon... Mind you, I'm only 30 year old. When did you say that you need to start looking at uh, the old uh, juicy stuff? When, when did he test some You're making out like I'm some kind of like, like a yeah, self gear or something. I'm, I'm, I'm all natural. <laughs> you're, you're, not, yeah, but you're the resident expert in this all things. I don't know. I mean, like, Mate, we've got a podcast. We should both be at least be on testosterone replacement like, therapy. That's what everyone is on, like <laughs> Joe Rogan and all those yeah, boys, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, you could probably get, if you're in America, you could have got TRT probably when you were 25, but like. Oh, yeah. Doctors over here quite reluctant, aren't they? But you, sh- you should be, I mean, you're pretty much under-trained, aren't you? So you should get some newbie gains for, the, for most, <laughs> of your, most of your 30s. Yeah. And start thinking about the gear when you're approaching my age, 38. All right, so. we'll get some ordered. Uh, look, the light's fixed today. Unbelievable, Jeff. I didn't expect that, yeah. It's good, it's, it's, it's working. Uh, George has been uh, slinging it about this weekend, aren't you, mate? <laughs> he's laying the seed. Okay, he's, now, he's, he's, uh, he just does the eye roll emoji every time you <laughs> mention that. Every time. It's how's, true, it, how's, how's it gone, mate? Is it... Going good? Uh, <laughs> Playing the field, as they say. Just, Kids, uh, we're, we're just discussing off air that we've got to live vicariously through you now. Yeah, yeah. Just chilling, mate. Just chilling. <laughs> Get off, mate. I've seen it. He's been putting a load of pictures on Instagram out, you know, having food. And there's always been, there's always like a, a female's hands across across the table, but we, we get to know who these... How can you tell it's a woman woman's hands? Well, yeah, to be fair, look at George's hands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, what we... What we how do we start every podcast, Adam? It's been I a, missed that. Yeah, the, the sound yeah. of somebody deadlifting downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, we start with a, a YouTube comment, don't we? Yeah. It's time for a YouTube comment from you. Right, we've got two comments. First one today from Matt Anderson. I think we've read out before. Uh, can Josh save for a beard for 30 days so we can see how bad or good his beard genetics are? I think I'd look a twat, mate. I feel like uh, some of his other clients slash employers etc might get a little bit they might tell them to basically shave no so, not what, nowadays when you're doing the presenting gig on octagon they might be like come on lad i might look really sick i might look like uh who's got good beards ryan reynolds does he have a beard he's not really known for his beard is he uh, what about that guy that played uh, in the hangover he's got a bradley beard cooper. now bradley cooper <laughs> is that galifianakis <laughs> 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 Uh, maybe I will do one day. Should do it for uh, that thing, November. Uh, November. Yeah, just do beard November. Yeah, I don't know why it has to be. Does it have to be mustache or could it just be facial? Just hair? Any facial hair. Yeah. All right, Con- pencil me in for November, Matt. Yeah. Matt. And the second comment from James Blessed. We've definitely had him before. We've had him before, definitely. Yeah. Uh, the highlight for me was when Josh, with 100% seriousness, exclaimed, "I like him, but I won't shag him." <laughs> <laughs> Loving your work as always, boys. <laughs> that was funny, yeah. That was the turning point in that episode, though, because that was literally when you went, I'm out. You checked out. You, yeah. you wanted It was going to well back. until that point. It was <laughs> like, like always, about 30 minutes is a charm, so. Any more comments? Uh, we had a question come in, I think, through the uh, DMs of Breaking Bread on Instagram. Uh, one question for Adam, one question for Josh. Uh, that Josh sent me this morning. It's a question for Adam. Does he have underwear for every weekday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc.? And... A pair named Food Challenge Day. And then some, brother, I must have about 
<laughs> fucking 80 pairs of underwear. <laughs> Can and we? I, and I don't normally take, if I go on a trip that's say like, like the last one was ni- uh, 19 days, I think. <laughs> I take at least five auxiliary pairs of underwear. <laughs> Can we overlay Adam? I, so oh, this happened, right? This oh, wasn't no, even no, after no. Nathan's. He sent a picture oh, in the chat no. where he'd actually shit his pants. And it, it's like, the, it, it obviously, he was sat on the toilet looking down and he took a picture of the shit stain. I was literally... White, and you're wearing white boxes. Like, why the fuck would you wear white boxes? <laughs> right, first of all, that was, that was for you boys. <laughs> Can I just say I was literally sat at a family meal and I opened my phone and that was there. I, was like, I, didn't, even, I didn't even flinch. I just like carried on scrolling. You've got a baby though, so you've seen it yeah, all, right? No I did it basically. To, I didn't think you'd be like, oh, let's share it on the podcast. Admittedly, I very rarely wear white underwear. And the funny thing was, it was just one of those, uh, it wasn't because I'd done like some big eating. It was one of those, you know, where you just chance uh, breaking wind and it turns out not to be that. So, yeah. The, uh, the, the uh, housekeeping lady probably got a surprise. <laughs> if she looked in the bin, but, uh, <laughs> happens to the, happens to the best it of us. Doesn't it? It me to me more you. than most. Well, yeah. I'm all right. My shit happens literally. <laughs> and we had a question for Josh as well, saying, since he is so glad in poop stories, can't he share his top three poop stories with the audience? Of how oh, there's a top on. three. What poop? My poop stories. Yeah, I can't. I haven't got any like. Uh, we, can, we come on. We're not it, starting out the podcast with shit stories. Oh, I can, I can. We can drop from uh, <laughs> so we can drop from uh, YouTube comments to a father in fails. If you want a poo story? Well, it's been a while, yeah. Till is bumping ahead, falling down the stairs. It's time we hear the tales. Josh is father in fails. So while you're away, Adam, we're, we're we're in the process now of potty training. Oh yeah. So I started too interested in it. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> so which is an experience in itself, but the little one decided that she were gonna, we were at uh, Danielle's nan's house, lives in a little flat in Morley. Uh, and under the stairs is where like the downstairs toilet is. So to get into it, you kind of, it's like, you know, a bit of a cubby hole. Anyway, she decided to have a wee and a poo on a potty, but you might think that little toddlers would have little poos. So like, I've, like we've got a chihuahua, a dog, and he has little poos. So you think a toddler would have a little poo, but they don't. They have man-sized human shits that come out of them. So she'd done a wee and done this huge log in the potty. <laughs> and Daniel was like, can you get rid of it? And I was like, all right, I'll muck in. I've, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll. So I got this, so I picked up, I'm like, we're all celebrating. Well done, well done, Tilly, yeah, amazing. She's like, woo, I've done, done a poo. So I picked the potty up with this massive human man-sized log in it. Went to the toilet and to get to the toilet, you've got to sort of lean over. So I leant over. How do you feel? And I tipped the the, the massive log. log and piss into the toilet. And at light speed, the piss and shit <laughs> flew back out and a piece of shit went in my eyeball <laughs> and sprayed on the ceiling. So I'm like, like falling over myself in this little toilet with a nugget in my eye, <laughs> covered in piss and shit and just like, what the fuck is this? So then I'm, I'm like under, so there's a sink in the toilet. I'm like splashing it, trying to get this shit out of my eye. <laughs> Needless to say, I woke up the day after with pink eye. I actually thought I was going to lose my eye. Like, how bad is that? Yeah, yeah pink eye's pretty bad. Yeah. That's that not so bad story. I feel like, could you not, did you not put like uh, toilet paper in there to cushion the, that's what you do. That's the public toilet yeah, yeah, but drill. I, didn't, I just put didn't think. I just goes assume- in. <laughs> Then you cushion the stuff going in. When I poured it, I thought it might hit like a rim or something and then, you know, like fall in and lose a bit of its velocity. But it just literally went in and then it lightened speed and it was pissy shit as well. It wasn't just shit. It all right, was like all right. I get the picture. I get the picture. In my eyeball. And funnily enough, actually, I got really sick a couple of days after. So I wonder if that was, yeah, that, that could have been it. it. I, was, I, was, it. I actually, I was that sick for three days. I couldn't come into work. That actually makes sense now. He must have been. And I'm never, I'm never sick. Yeah. And I was fucking written off, mate. So there's a there's a father who fails. It's been a while. It's been a minute. I'm sure there's many other parents that can relate to that. You know, I, I sent you that email before I got started about that person talking about potentially being interested in like a, 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 an exclusive deal. <laughs> He's now not interested, right? So like, no, let's hope we sign on the dotted line before that before this fucking episode <laughs> goes out. Said the word pissy shit. <laughs> Multiple it times. Ended. Yeah. What else is happening? It's good when you go away, you know. Actually. Because is, a lot yeah. of things happen. Tory Mike, has, uh, after his one pump, one second uh, <laughs> ejaculate, the, the child <laughs> nine months later has now spawned into a little human. So yeah. congratulations, Mike, yeah. for your, having a little girl. Well done, Mike. Yeah, I didn't know you had it in you. You just had that one, one second. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> hit the target. T- touch the rim, hit the target. Um, main topic of this episode, though, is uh, your... Um, 
impressive effort at Nathan's hot dog eating contest. Now, was Nathan's debrief? As a as a mystic Mac that I am, I put a post out on the uh, Breaking Bread Instagram and said, "Good luck, Adam." Did you? Yeah, I put put a post just, out, just some pictures. Just Good luck. It. I put, "No doubt you'll go there, do terrible, <laughs> come back, complain, say you didn't want to do, say you didn't want to do well anyway, and just move on." And no, sure I, as shit, that's what happened. I always, I always want to do well. It's just you know, I just don't have the uh, the capacity <laughs> to put in all the effort that everyone else does. Uh, and uh, yeah, to be fair, it didn't it could have gone a lot? Believe me, it could have gone a lot worse, man. That was the. The whole, ra- I don't want to, I'm not blaming it on the rain delay, everyone. But who's fault with that, for, for me? Because the irony is that on your Instagram story in the morning, you were, <laughs> you put, you said something online, lines of, I got it's 27 degrees at seven yeah. o'clock, please somebody was, do a rain it was, dance. It was like 6.30, I think. <laughs> I, went, I went out like, because I need to get some, uh, you know, they do this funny thing, like, because people, obviously people take it mega seriously, right? And they do this thing where they're like, if you want, you know, special beverages, you know, flavor changes and whatnot, They'll ship them at the stage for you, right? So you don't you don't need to worry about your beverages. You get to the stage, your beverages are there, right? <laughs> um, and I never normally do it. I just go raw. Like Ro- Ronnie Hartman, who's one of the other he's like, yeah, man, beards just got raw dogging in every year, just like pure like H2O. And uh, I normally don't bother, right? But I thought, hey, this year, I need all the help I can get. So let's go get some Powerades or whatever, some fruity shit, some fruit punch. And I'll, I'll take advantage of this service where they put your drinks on stage. Uh, but yeah, so I went out to get the drinks, Um and I'm thinking, fuck me, it's hot, man. It's six thirty. <laughs> like, I don't want to eat in this, man. Because obviously, when you're hot, you don't want to eat. The and they, that no. affects everyone. Um, so yeah, I said uh, some people do a rain dance, and then I got a lot of grief for that backstage later <laughs> day, because people were like, "What the fuck, beard? Like, it's it's really coming out." When the thunder started, man, I thought it was like an explosion. I thought it was like some terrorist attack for oh, a yeah? split second. But then I looked around, and everyone else is like just chilling. So I thought, well, it can't be like gunfire or was like, it that bad? Know, was bomb. it? Yeah, it was really. It just seems to me that like thunder, just in America in general, thunder and like seems to kind of rock the ground a Have bit. I don't know. Moments. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, the rain delay wasn't. And the funny thing about that was is we nobody knew what was happening backstage. So we knew there was a delay, right? And Mikey was one of the eater liaisons. Came around. He's <laughs> like, we're going to try, try and get you on stage in 15 minutes. So I'm like, ah, cool. You know, 15 minutes, no big deal. An hour goes by. Nobody said anything. And you, I, I never get, uh, you know, like reception back there on yeah. my phone, right? But then this message comes through from my mum and she's like, so I don't, she never would normally watch it, right? But she must have got some dodgy stream from somewhere. <laughs> she certainly didn't pay for ESPN. Um, and she's like, oh, darling, I'm sorry, it's cancelled. And there's like Ronnie Hartman next to me. I was like, my mum says it's cancelled. And he's like, why the fuck's your mum know it's cancelled? We don't. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, I guess we're not eating today. So we all kind of thought it was... Uh, yeah, it was all over was social off. media, like Barstool Sports, like all of the big outlets were saying it's cancelled, it's cancelled. There were people kicking off on Twitter saying, what the fuck is this? People died for this 4th of July hot dog eating <laughs> conversation and now they've cancelled it. Our founding fathers yeah. will be turning in their graves. Yeah, well, they, they said that they, it, that it was cancelled. I was I had like one foot on the bus. And they, I mean, figuratively, I didn't actually have one foot on the bus, but they said they were, you come on like these two, these two big, uh, they call them buses, but they're two big stripper limos, basically. That's why I call them, right? Because they've got the flashy lights and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. And every year they're like, yeah, but there's no pole beard. It's not, it's, it's not, a stri-. I'm like, it looks like a stripper limo to me. But anyway, they said, oh, we only have them contracted to like, I don't know, two maybe. So we're gonna have to send the buses back. But the women's contest has already happened, which by the way was ace, right? If if anything should tell ESPN to put that prioritize that next year, it should win that contest because it was mega close. Um but they said, Oh, we're gonna send the buses back. So if anyone wants to get on them, you can go back. And I'm like, Can, <laughs> can I get on a Mikey? And then you, that, that's the guy that does like the, yeah. all the liaison and shit, and he's like, uh, you just can't say it's a group. Look, if you want to see some eating today, maybe Joey's just going to try and break the record by himself and have the cameras indoors and you can cheer him on, then stick around. If you want to be a loser, like Beard over there, then you can get back on the buses. I'm like, all right, so that's Major League Eating saying, listen, Adam, you fucking stay in there. <laughs> so I didn't get back on the buses, but then I was actually doing an Instagram story. I think I was saying it like Darian or something. And I was like, oh, you're getting the beers in tonight, mate. I just want to drink now because I was fully past it, right? I just, I just wanted to go eat some food casually because yeah. I was obviously hungry by that point. Just have a few beers and that's it. I'm, I'm good. But as I was saying that, uh, this woman came in. She's like, right, everyone line up. We're getting you out eating. And I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> you know, when you just kind of, you know what I'm like, man. Yeah, when yeah. I'm just totally past it, like half an hour delay, I can deal with an hour maybe. <laughs> yeah. but like, two, 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 two and a half <laughs> hours. You can't fucking half an hour delay. Never mind two and a half hours. I dread to think what you were like backstage. The funniest part was I was, I was la- laughing at everyone. I think I was on Instagram as well. I said like, how do you guys feel training like all year? So training since March for this and now it's cancelled and I'm laughing at them. They're all like, fucking shut up, beard. <laughs> shut up. Hey, Darren. How do you feel now? You pr- you're actually trained for this now it's cancelled. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> 
<laughs> then joke was on me because we had to eat in the end. The funniest part though was that Lindsay was like, I saw your intro and uh, you, you didn't want to be there, did you? I was like, well, I tried to give it some energy and whatnot, but I by that point, I just, <laughs> everyone, I got the long, I don't know, somebody said to me like, how long, how, how much do you pay um, Major League Eating to get the second longest intro? Because mine went on forever. It was a really good intro. But, I missed um, it. I did actually have the stream up, but I missed yeah. that. I was, well, the intros are the only part where you actually he's see really, it. The guy that's on the microphone, he's unbelievable. George, yeah, he's a good MC, isn't he? Um, but yeah, it, it, I, by that point, I was just like, man. I just, you, you, it's like Jeff said, actually, it was a, Jeff Espoo was the second best, yeah. number two ranked eater in the world. He said, um, you, try, you, everyone try, you try and time it right. So you're a bit like kind of peak week or something, right? You yeah. try and time it so like you, because I'm, I'm eating like Sour Patch Kids, like a specific time to have like sufficient energy to eat, right? Because yep. it takes a lot of energy to eat like that. And everyone's, that's why all the numbers were down. Even Joey did, I mean, he still did 60, right? But <laughs> that's less, that's whatever, 15, 16 less than he would normally do. Yeah. But it's because you, yeah, I mean, by that point, you kind of like, depending on who you are, it affects you, doesn't it? So how, like, the, this, the actual so American program is just dog shit. So like, <laughs> I can't believe how bad it is to watch some, and I forget, you know, like I've been to America a bunch of times. There's, a, there's probably 90 seconds of broadcast, then <laughs> five minutes of trying to sell you like pills for erectile dysfunction yeah, or me- fucking meds. blood pressure. Or, or Zempic, that's a new thing, isn't it? Just like, and then they'll cut back to it for like 90 more seconds. It is the worst television ever. But they did show you the whole sort of event of you guys and your arm was on screen for 30 seconds of that, that 10 was minutes. A, that was the closest I've ever been in the middle. <laughs> I don't know why they, fuck, they, they wanted to put me that close because like I, I was never going to do... Uh, I didn't do as bad as I thought I was going to do, but like I... Uh, so where did you place in the end? I think I came 10th of, I want to say 17. But like, honestly, it was, uh, I think this year, the, it was similar to last year where the pack was so, you know, so close. It was like a couple of dogs in it. And actually my, my count had me at 29, which would have been the highest I did at finals. Obviously I've done 32 like in qualifying, but then they, they were mad with the deductions this year. Like we, there's, you have like a, a a meeting before the, I would love you, if I do it next year, you should come with me just to film. I don't know if they'd let us film it because Major League Gain are a bit weird like that, but <laughs> it would be really, I think it'd be really interesting to actually film the, you know, like the, the actual thing, and all yeah, the behind yeah. scenes. Cause you have like, you're eating a meeting. It's like, you've got to be here on time. <laughs> Some people take it really seriously and other people are like me are not, not quite as serious. Um, but they're giving us this, they're like, we're going to be really, we're going to be really harsh on debris this year. Like if you've got any debris and I, I, I start pointing at people, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, I, I, my account had me at 29 and then when they'd done the deductions, it was 26 and I'm like, a three but, whole lot. But they, they were fair to everyone because like Darian next to me had three knocked off him and I think, uh, I don't know about Webby who was next to me, but a lot of people had had that. I know I, if, if it's the same for everyone, I couldn't care less, right? But I thought, well, if I did it 29, that's not terrible. Yeah. And um, I mean, it's pretty terrible, but it's not that terrible. And it, my, oh, my, my start was so bad to the point that I thought about faking like a faint in the swimming like, <laughs> can, can i faint here and just like get out of it because like i started off right normally right i pace myself like uh if i'm at half what joey's at then i'm 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 on good pace right yeah. and george Shea after like i don't know maybe a minute minute and a bit so he's like joey chestnut just hit 13 hot dogs and i'm looking at my counter and i'm like that says two. <laughs> I look at webby webby's on like 10 i look at Dar- darian's on eight and he's ranked like 10 places lower than me and i'm like what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> and at that point, like I noticed that I was like dry. Cause like, which sounds weird, right? But like at Nathan's after 10 seconds, you'd be drenched. Cause you know, you are dunking the yeah. bottom. It's a gross contest. And I'm like, and I'm eating over the table and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? And it seemed to be like after a minute, minute and a half, I kind of kicked in the fact that I actually got back to within like, I had a bet with Darian who was next to me for a hundred bucks. Said like, who worked cast? I, I was thinking I need something. Yeah. Cause I know I'm not gonna win it. I know I'm not gonna place. I need something to make me try and eat, right? So I bet him a hundred bucks uh, and he beat me by one. First time he's beat me at, um, at hot dogs anyway. And, um, but yeah, I remember thinking like, why am I, why am I eating over the table here? Like a tit. What do you mean? Do you have to stand up straight? Yeah. Cause normally if you're going to eat properly at Nathan's, right? What you, you'll notice that everyone, it looks gross, right? But everyone's like, get, get the dogs, right? Head goes back. <laughs> choking on the dogs while you're dunking the bun. And then the bun, you know, which is covered in water. So that's why you shouldn't be drinking much. Yeah, yeah. So you shove that down. And I'm like eating up as if I'm trying to do like a restaurant challenge or something, trying to be clean and tidy. And I'm like, the fuck are you doing? You tit. And that's, I seem to kick in a little bit. And the fact that I got back to within one of Darian and I, you know, I managed to beat Ronnie and crazy legs and 
uh, Derek and a couple of really good eaters, but like everyone had a bad day, um, apart from the elite, right? You could see, you could see in the room when it, when the delay was, you know, we're two hours into the delay, the, the majority of us just want to go, right? Yeah. When they say it's canceled as well, we already think it's canceled, but then there's Jeff and Joey who were still fucking laser focused. You know what I mean? Like, so you, you knew those, those guys were going to do well and you know, the rest of us weren't going to be so mad. What, cause that's the first time I ever watched it and see uh, Joey Chestnut get two hot dogs and they're fat dogs out and he's like, you put two in at once and it's like chewing down a bit. That's it's, the key though, man. That's, I, I can't, the thing that I can't suss out is how to do two dogs at once. And everyone does two dogs to some capacity. They don't, most people don't do like the full two dogs, then a bun, then a bun. Most people hold two dogs, eat half of them. So you've effectively eaten one hot dog, yeah. bun. And then and I just can't suss out. So I break one, right? And squeeze it. And then, but I think like, not, like every year, I'm not like, oh, you know, I could have done better. I couldn't have done much better. But one thing I did think was, well, if you started off and you'd done two after a minute, and I've normally done five, which is not bad pace, yeah. right? Everyone tries to get on the, you know, have you seen the count down in the bottom left of the yes, screen? Yeah, yeah. So there's kind of a running gag. Everyone's like, I'm going to get on the count this year. Because if you get on that in the first, you're not going to be on it after five minutes because yeah. Joey's at 30 and, you know. But if you're on it in the first minute, it means you, you know, you're doing all right. And last year I was on it. I was at five after like a minute or something. And I went on it and then like Ronnie will replace me or Derek will replace me or whatever. And this year, obviously, I was nowhere near. Because loads of people mess me saying, I saw that you were at two when Joe was at 12. I'm like, yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that at the time. But um, I did think like if if I managed to get it back from two after a minute, which was probably last place at one yeah. minute in to not being, you know, to getting back to basically the same pace as last year, then maybe I'm not that bad. And maybe next year I should, same as I said last year, maybe I should just practice once or twice. Maybe I'm all right eating hot dogs. <laughs> but um, I just need some, uh, but all, all those guys all, train you know from march man they're all smashed they all look like fucking shit when you get there to the hotel everyone's like sucked up because they've just been eating hot dogs <laughs> what like twice a week and not eating anything in between for like three months and to do that and then like beat me by what three hot dogs what's the point yeah it's all right for jeff and julian what do they taste like they taste good or they do i i don't i don't like the texture of them that much because they they've got this kind of pop to them you know like yeah, a snap yeah, yeah. to them they're not like uh if you see me smash an english breakfast like greasy spoon sausage it's going straight down, right? Those things, they're chewy. Because I remember the first time I did it, I always thought like, I was worried about the bun more than the hot dog, but the dog is what takes the the, the chewing. But they taste really good. I I like I could enjoy one. Yeah. Like with a little bit of mustard on there, maybe some onions or even some chili or something. I, I would enjoy it. But um, obviously they don't taste great when you're dunking the bun in water and just, you don't really taste them. You just choke it on them for like 10 minutes. <laughs> it's so disgusting. It is. It is. <laughs> Is I, some, a lot of people message me when I'm in it every year and they'd be like, uh, oh, but you should tell them to do like, do the contest, but without dunking. I'm like, well, I don't really have that kind of sway, but I think it would be a cooler, obviously the numbers would be way we'll lower. Slow, slow it down a lot, wouldn't it? Yeah, but so, and that's what people want to see, like mega, mega numbers. But I always think like, if they want to see the biggest numbers, they should just boil them because they grill them. The fuck, they're grilling oh. like thousands of hot dogs, like the grill masters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you could see them pretty stressing out trying to grill all the hot dogs and get them as perfect as they can. But I just think like, can't you just put like 2000 in a big tub of boiling water and they'd be softer, they'd be easy to eat. So if you wanted mega numbers, they probably wouldn't look as good though. <laughs> you could just tell ESPN, don't do any close-ups on them. Like when they're on the- Did know. they do any close-ups this time? I think they sometimes do, yeah. Like, cause they normally like put a big uh, tray out with the, you know, 76, whatever the current best is. They'll put a big tray out with all the hot dogs stacked on them. And they, all look, they, all, they look nice to be fair, but- um, I saw Joey do an interview afterwards and he did not look happy to be there. Like, I don't think he was best pleased with his performance or just the whole situation. He's like that. I talk, people laugh, right? But he's like that elite mentality kind of guy. Right. It, it's hot dogs. Because that's the world to him. Every 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 year, <laughs> I'll sit him at the after party when he's had a few beers. So when, when you're kicking off the, the YouTube channel, Joey, because he's got a channel, right? But just very rarely post to it. It's like, nah, man. Somebody, he said to me this year, he's like, uh, he's like, ask me about it. Seems just seems really weird to me. Beard, because they all, I don't want to call me beard. Like they all know me well enough to call me Adam. But anyway, he's like, it seems really weird to me just setting up a camera and eating food and talking to it. I'm like, so that seems weird to you. <laughs> but like getting 60 hot dogs <laughs> on a table in your garden where people can see you and trying to eat them as quick as possible while you replay last year's contest in in audio so you know where you are. No way. It's not weird. <laughs> I'm not saying that's weird. Like I'm not knocking him for it because that's how he's so good. But I'm like, I don't think it's that weird, is it? To talk to what is basically an audience. And you've clearly got one because that Big Mac video he did has like 4 million views or something. So- He's been doing TikToks, I know that. I'm not on TikTok much, but it does, he's both been doing a lot of TikToks. Yeah. But well, I mean, but it was, it's always an experience. And it, this year made me think like, 
maybe I'm not done with it yet. Like I, I feel like I'm gonna go back and do. I, won't, I, I first of all, first the first thing I did when I got back was like look to find out when the next contest is, which is Wings in uh, Buffalo, which is at the Buffalo Bills Stadium football. Uh, oh yeah, American football when stadium. Is that? September, so I might do that. Ah, nice. Um, but yeah, I always enjoy the the social element of it more than the, more than the actual competing. Well, tell us about the social element then. Like, how was the was spirits high after it finally got done? Yeah, it's always everyone's always. I think the majority of people there outside, maybe the top five, are there predominantly for the jolly. Yeah, for the for the it, it wasn't as crazy. Badlands didn't come out. If anyone knows Badlands, chugs. Some people will that listen. Um, he's normally life and soul of the party. I hope he's all right because he didn't. Uh, he was at the event. Um, and I chatted to him and whatnot, but he didn't come out to the to the after party, which is weird. He's normally there rapping, which everyone loves doing, like uh, Gangsters Paradise. Mm-hmm. Nothing if until you've seen Badlands do like Gangsters Paradise, drunk, then you've not you've not lived. But it was it was. Always, it Why was, didn't he come out? I don't know. I, th- I hope he was all right. But um, he, I, I mean, it was a, it was a long day for him. He did a lot of stuff on TV, like, ah, the, right, okay. like the spot because he does like chugging, right? So they wanted they do the the chug off which they had a new belt for this year like the annual chugging world championship or whatever they did like a he did like a gallon of lemonade in like 25 seconds <laughs> which is that's strong man to say like you know he's not honestly mate it's a massive freak show <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking, I, mean, I watched it on ESPN I was like this is wild like and Joey's jaw is like the mechanics of his he's so like fat you know it's like why they call him Joey Jaws oh chestnut my, man he's an absolute freak show and you are like one of the chief freaks coming over you <laughs> Your beard strolling on like a hobbit. You know, I wanted to do like if if it had not been uh, if it had not been delayed and I just had no energy to do anything. Um, I wanted to do like the Conor McGregor walk, but I thought nah, people then think I'm a Conor McGregor fan, so Uh, I I didn't do it. But I was I bought a coat. I normally just comb my beard and buy one. I bought one. I left it in my hotel room. Um, this year, but um, yeah, it's always always a blast, man. Like it's uh, it's I I like the fact that you see the thing about Tom Holland. Talking, somebody interviewed Tom Holland and he said like he really hated the hot dog contest. He said you couldn't pay him to go to that. No. Yeah. Oh, you didn't see it? No. It's funny. Yeah, because I don't know why somebody didn't interview him, but he said, you know, like oh, children are starving, it, 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 which is true, of course, um, but it didn't take into account the fact they give away like a hundred thousand uh, quid to, um, or dollars to, you know, a food, I don't know if it's a food bank or a food charity or something. And he was like, I fucking hate that contest or whatever. But then uh, one of the eaters, a guy called Nick Wary, who I think is like ranked fifth in the world, he was on this news channel being interviewed. And the guy said to him, like, what do you think about Tom Holland? Saying he doesn't like the hot dog contest. And I had tweeted Nick saying, I'd love to see Nick, because Nick's a bodybuilder, right? Right. And I said something like, I'd love to see Nick um, strict shoulder press Tom Holland for 13 reps. And th- I said something like, throw the sockless dweeb into the crowd. <laughs> and he repeated that like on his fucking like national news interview. <laughs> So I'm kind of hoping, like, Tom Holland, we could, you think we could get him as a guest? No. Probably not anymore. No. There goes Never that. Mind. There goes that one. But yeah, it was, it's, it's, it's always a good day, man. And uh, it was cool to see, because the, they told us the crowd had gone home and everyone thought it wasn't going to be on TV and we were just going to go out and, like, eat some hot dogs, for, you know, just to get it done. But the, a lot of the crowd stuck around and loads of people in there shouting, like, let's get it. Let's get it! Ah. Which is always nice. Uh, was, I always feel bad when I do fucking terrible. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it, it, was, it was a... It was a. Did you meet many fans whilst you were out there? Yeah, the funniest thing to me was getting off the. You come off the bus of champions, right? <laughs> and um, you you kind of go in at the back end of the stage, right? And there's always people waiting there with like signs and stuff. It's mad, but even for like, I don't want to say even for people that are not that well known, but like you see people. So there's like Ronnie Hartman, who's a wrestler, and there's all these wrestling fans there with a piece of card, yeah. like Ronnie, I'm pregnant. I didn't say that, <laughs> but um, I got off, and this woman starts shaking, man. Like I, I got off the, but I have my phone out to record it, right? And somebody's like, hey, you know, fist bumping people and, you know, high fives and whatnot. And this woman was there and she's like, oh, Adam, like, <laughs> I'm fully shaking. She's like, oh, I love your videos. But you can't, like, you're not allowed to stop because, right. you know, like, they're like, don't stop because ESPN are filming it all. Yeah, of course, yeah. So I, but like, I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was nice to see that. And then after the, after the contest, loads of people had waited um, around to, like, get pictures and stuff, so... It's always, uh, it's always nice, but we had to get a, a taxi back, which was the work because the buses had gone. Right. right. And, um, so Ronnie Hartman was like, he's taller than you, man. He's a fucking unit. And he's covered in like red, like fruit punch dye. <laughs> and we're all like wet, soaking wet, covered in a piece of hot dog, getting this Uber back. And Ronnie's like, you the Uber. And you can th- see the guy think, fuck, maybe I shouldn't pick these guys up. 
But uh, yeah, it was. It, it's always a, it's a good time. That's why people want to be there, I think, because it's just uh, it's pure Americana, right? It's mental. Like, just 30,000 people watching people eat hot dogs. That's fucking bonkers. Do you know this year as well, it had the, it, it incre- the viewership on ESPN increased like 80% or something. I think last year, like one and a half people watched it and this year it was like nearly 3 million, I think. One and a half million. And this year it was like nearly 3 million. Jeez. Mad. Maybe because of the better time for people to watch it, you know. I don't know. What time was it at, like in the day for you? I think we started eating at like 2.33 maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's normally like 12.30. But I've got, to, I've got to say, the, the, if I know nobody listens, apart from Jeff, if I can I do a shout out for uh, Jeff, Jeff Esper, number two ranked eater in the world. He, he does, I think he only listens when we talk about food. Okay. But he's a big fan. Of, in fact, let's see if I can do his accent because he's from Boston, right? So we're in the cab going back and he's like a unit of a man. So you don't really expect his voice to come out of his body. But he's like, uh, he's like, hey, beard, hey, beard, <laughs> I, I want to ask you something, man. He's like, uh, the guy you do the podcast with kind of seems like you, you guys don't really get along too good. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, Jeff, this, you got a point there. But um, no, we, we are good mates. I think I said, you know, we kind of embellish it a little bit. But um, yeah, I don't know what I was going with that. But I just wanted to say shout to, out to, to Jeff, to Jeff, who's, who's just a legend, man. Because he was, he, did he come second place? In yeah. Because I saw it was very close with the other guy next to him, wasn't it? So yeah, him <laughs> and Webby was the Aussie guy. who was yeah, like really yeah. big on TikTok. People always tag me in his, uh, in his videos because he's like, I think he does most of his stuff on uh, TikTok, but he's a phenomenal, I mean, to be able to do that, I mean, like, look at the size of his jaw though. I think I did yeah. an Instagram story actually when we were in the hotel. I was like, how do, how do you compete with that? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like this. <laughs> like, I, I don't know how you compete with that, but like, yeah, him and uh, Jeff were really close. Jeff caught him in the end. I think, he, I can't remember. I think Jeff did like 49 or maybe like 42 or something, but like for the majority of the contest, Webby was like keeping pace with Joey, which is mad. But and he was right next to me, so it was really depressing. <laughs> so I'm like, this this cat's on like ten, and I'm on two. But um, yeah, it was it was uh, it was it was really good. And the women's contest was amazing this year, which is because it's really I I think it's kind of the women kind of get depressed by it because they don't put that on the on the ESPN two. What sort of on, numbers do they pull? Like, do they pull like similar to like what you would get? It's now nah, the. the 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 best female competitors are like Mickey's ranked fourth in the world. So she's as good as I call the men, right? And Michelle's uh, good as well. Um, but on average, the numbers are lower. Yeah. It's the only contest they divide by men and women. So like a lot of the women that are kind of lower ranked will turn up and maybe do ten, or, yeah, yeah. which is still if you think about it, that's a lot of hot dogs to eat in ten minutes. Right? A minute, uh, they're hundred gram hot dogs. But anyway, um, the women's contest, contest this year was really good. And they always put it on like streaming instead of actually on ESPN. And I think the women quite rightly say, well, wh- you know, why? Like it, they do the preamble, why not just yeah, stream yeah. the women's? But the women's this year was so good because they invited um, this, uh, they invited a few Japanese eaters who aren't like actually signed this year. I don't know why, but it was really nice to, to meet them. And Ebi Haru was the, the I, I wanted her to win so bad. Um, if Mickey's listening. I'm not that sorry, actually. I wanted her to win, but like she, she pushed like really close. But the funniest thing about her, she was pure chain smoking before the <laughs> event. Man. She was like, I'm not joking. Like a real athlete. Every time, every time we went outside the green room, she was like, <sighs> yeah, she's like, ah, ah. She was had about eight cigarettes beforehand. And then afterwards, you should have seen her stomach as well, mate. Fucking hell. She looked like, it was like a perfect, you know, like if you got like a, what do you call it, space hoppers? Yeah, yeah. And put it under your jersey. I was like, she looked in pain as well when she came off the stage and it, she, gradually she got better. But even then she, she must have about 30 cigarettes in the space of three hours. But uh, yeah, she was, uh, she was really nice though. I, I mean, I, you know, I don't like smoking, but she, do what you like. <laughs> she, she was really nice. And uh, yeah, she, I think she lost by one hot dog, but it was the best women's contest I've seen in years. Mickey normally like, just trounces everyone, but yeah, I hope Abby comes back next year. Cause she was great. What about the, so the after party and shenanigans and oh, oh, juicy happen? Joey was trying to wrestle this other guy called Adrian Morgan. Joey's kind of mad when he's drunk. I mean, I, I love the guy, right? And he's, 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 he's nice, but he was splattered, man. He was wasted. And it won't, but he's like, he seems unnaturally strong to me. Cause you look at Joey, he doesn't look strong. Yeah, yeah. He's a big guy, but he doesn't look strong. But he, I remember trying to pick up this guy called Adrian Morgan, who was probably the, one of the quietest eaters there in the bar afterwards. And I'm like, you know, when it kind of gets on the edge, you're like, are they, is he playing around there? Or does he actually just want to try and tap him out or something? But it was no, it was cool. There was there was nothing really out of the. Uh, what time did you get in at? Did you have a late one? Yeah, I was pretty. I wasn't like as late as most. We didn't do karaoke this year. Normally do karaoke, but um, didn't do it this year. Garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Uh, I did garlic. Dexie's Midnight Runners last year. <laughs> <laughs> I did come on Eileen last year, but uh, no. Um, yeah, it was still like it was maybe two thirty. So not that late, but 
late for me, right? I got a really nice hotel room this year as well. I saw that. I don't know. I saw that. Like, Manhattan. Yeah, they must, must have given me Joey's hotel room by mistake. <laughs> I, that's the nicest room I've ever had. It's because you've got that, that YouTube money now. Like, we need to give you, give you sweet. The maddest thing is, though, is that I don't know if I'll do it next year because the first qualifier they're actually having for next year's Nathan's is next month, and it's in England, a, a new Nathan's in England. So why would you not be going to that? Because I can't. I'm, I'm elsewhere. I'm away with Linz, oh, and right. then I'm probably going to Buffalo. So I told them- Can I anybody could, rock up for this qualifier? Yeah. I think you probably have to like so, re, re, register for it. Have a go. You've got fucking no chance. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> George's got more of a chance than you. But um, yeah, that, that's the maddest thing. So that means that, that at least one woman and man, if they go from, from England, they'll be there next year. They aren't me. So imagine, George. Go buy some hot dogs from Asda, right? We'll practice this afternoon. It's the Oof. bread that'll, that'll be the problem. Because we don't have that like polystyrene okay. bread. Yeah, but like their bread like disintegrates. If you do that with like a wob and fucking bap, you choke yourself <laughs> to death. I know I've tried it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that's, how many do you need to qualify? Do you reckon? It just, whoever wins that, that qualifier will, as far as I'm aware, it's normally that they have a qualifier and the highest ma uh, performing man and woman from that qualifier will go to Nathan's, which means you get there's, lo there's loads of English eaters. In there. Like I think, they, I think the gap's too wide for me to just make make a last minute entry. Well, that, there aren't that many, and you, do, you never none of them have been motivated to sign with MLE. You'll have to sign a contract with MLE, so and none of them wanted to do that so far. So like it depends. I want to say if I were if I were here, I'd go with with Jen. We know my sister. Oh yeah, she I, she could totally qualify. She could do like eight, I reckon. I'm gonna message Jen after this. I'll send her. I'll send her a text about right. Me and you are qualified. <laughs> <laughs> that would be it. How funny would that be? Well. Yeah. How funny would that be? Me and Jen qualify with the next year's stage next year. <laughs> yeah, that'll be the thing though. Next year, maybe yeah. I, maybe I won't because they probably won't invite me if there are other English people there. They will, man. You, your star's still shining bright in it. You're almost at three million I was subscribers. Kind of, I feel like I've got to kind of yeah lay that on. I'm like, well, listen, if you don't want the most watched eater in the the Western world on uh, stage, that's your problem. <laughs> speaking of <laughs> uh, joke, by the way. speaking of eating, your uh, the cake challenge video has done uh, phenomenal on your channel. Did really well, yeah. I admit that I've not read any comments, so I don't know what the comment section looked like. It was mu much more, it wasn't universally positive, obviously, because <laughs> it's a different type of video, but um, it was much more positive than the chicken wings one that you were in. Yes. So maybe it's, it's all right when you're just behind the camera. <laughs> 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 when I'm behind the camera. <laughs> when, I'm, when you're behind the camera. Um, but yeah, we, that, I'm thankful to everyone that watched that one. I, we really enjoyed filming that, didn't we? Yeah. Um, even though it was in London. But yeah, a lot of people... Um, Liked, I thought it was a good video, you know, like the edit was good. And um, <laughs> yeah, it, it did. I didn't think I was going to do very well at all, but a lot of people liked it. Some people didn't, but you know, tough shit. Yeah, it was tough one up there to film really, like because the circumstances it were like, do it, there's a cupboard behind this camera here. That way it was like filming in that cupboard. That's how small the gaff was. I didn't realize it was going to be that. No. Nah. It's a good job that they kind of like let us get, because they let us get the attack. Uh, did they say like it was, was it before? It wasn't before it opened. Maybe they let us in later than they do. There was I think they just give us the room for as long as we needed. They just basically just fucked yeah. everyone else off. And went <laughs> Cause if there'd been other people in there, oh, yeah. it'd been tough, wouldn't it? Cause we took up a lot of room with the- Cause there were people coming and going like that dude who were going to a funeral, <laughs> which you completely missed. <laughs> Having a big beaming grin on my face. Oh, thanks for watching, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, I, like nice suit, mate. I like your nice suit, mate. I like your suit. Oh, it's special today. Oh, yeah. I, didn't, I don't know how I didn't hear it. Cause we're watching the video back, I'm like, it's obvious what he says to you. Yeah, yeah. But I don't, like, your ears start ringing after you've had a lot of sugar. Maybe it was like, I don't know. People were loving the uh, Bob Marley joke, which is the joke as old as time. How did Bob Marley laugh? <laughs> how was, who, was that the first time you'd heard that joke? No, right? it was Josh. Oh, yeah, yeah, blew it. Yeah, I'm like, how, have you, how old is he? <laughs> He's like 28 or something. He's been on his planet yeah, nearly yeah. 30 years and never heard that joke. Yeah, it's stupid, isn't it? <laughs> Fully like folded him as well. Mate. He's, like, <laughs> He's like, it's like, I remember. Uh, but yeah, that was good. And we... So Adam, when he left to go to America, he said, oh yeah, I'm going to release the cake video on this date. At that point, we probably recorded two videos, sick at sight of him. We were just like, yeah, yeah whatever, <laughs> bye. And then it was like Sunday night at seven o'clock, three weeks later. It just goes live on, on YouTube for me and I'm sorry. Oh. Fucking the last thing I said to you was the, before I left this country, it was the, uh, the cake video is going up on this date at this time. And you were like, yeah, all right, mate. Yeah, I won't listen in. Well, that, that's smart. Yeah, all right, fuck off and <laughs> go on all day. <laughs> and then it released. So we had to, so I released the behind the scenes on my channel, which has got like, it's not even the finished video. It was like, that's all we had. So it's got to go. Yeah, there's like a missing there's transition. Like a missing, it? Like, there's like missing frames. And you know, it's like red frames. <laughs> <laughs> the red little video yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the biannual video has gone up with a fucking problem on it. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's kind of good that because I spent all that all that video is just me complaining oh, on the way man. down there, well, shouting at that old bloke trying to reverse his car for like five it, hours. Put it in the co- top comments of this this podcast if you watch it because it's just Adam. It's like it is Adam, the epitome of hit, that miserable Adam. That is, it's you. not me. It's, it's, I have a second. I have a twin, which well, a lot of people don't know is like an evil twin. <laughs> what did he call that go- that guy trying to park his Tesla? It's fucking mouth breathing ungulate. <laughs> <laughs> called him a mouth breathing ungulate, <laughs> which is a bit of a. I, I think a, that's one of the greatest insults I've ever heard. It's, it's, a, it's a niche. Uh, it's a niche insult. Oh, but, uh, well, we're still on um, Nathan's actually. I put on um, I put on Instagram. <laughs> just as if anyone, anyone, what are you laughing at you? The worst part about that is the state of my fucking barnet as well at the beginning of my hair. Oh, I like it. cousin, it's just like because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just washed it, so it's like fully. People don't believe. People think that I straighten my hair. That's what it looks like when I get out the shower. It's like fully. <laughs> it's like stupidly straight. You could use it as a ruler, you know what I mean? Like, if you... <laughs> so yeah, I was, I was watching that back. I was thinking, oh, I need to get a haircut. Man, this it's not gonna work. So I put on Instagram saying, like, does anybody have any questions about what did I put? Um, what do you know about Nathan and Beard's latest adventure? To which we got like, look how many responses we got. Two. We got like loads. Of, so I can't oh, go through all these. I'm sure that's not that many. We could probably do all of them. Yeah, most. The fuck There'll be some repeats in there. There's about ten. The reason I said that you should do that is actually because I saw that Jeff, again, Jeff, if you're watching, love you, mate. Um, he did a, like a little Q&A like after, after it and loads of people asked him uh, you know, about like things yeah. that I wouldn't have thought people would be interested in. But, so I thought it might be an idea to just... Um, so a Pitch Eats Pound said, did you do any hot dog runs beforehand? <laughs> we already know the answer to that one. No, I can't, I can't do it, man, because like it's... To, to, especially with the YouTube channel, right? This is what I say every year. Like I... I, first of all, I can't, I can't, I can't be that guy, you know, like seriously practices eating hot. Because imagine how much of that, li- how much of your life that takes up, right? You sit in your in your garden twice a week from March through to June, it's through to July, eating as many hot dogs as you can. It's just miserable. And maybe one day I'll do it, but I probably won't. Uh, the the Zed James said, "Why don't the videos go up on Beard's channel of the contest?" Of Nathan's, yeah, uh, we're not allowed to film it. You're actually frisked for action cameras. <laughs> Before you get on, because what, 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 what's that? What's that? Is that a GoPro? I, I oh, no, for, it's your little cock. I, I, yeah, I look forward to that. That's my, <laughs> like, it gets me in the mood to, to get up and eat some hot dogs. But no, you're not allowed to film because ESPN like pay for the rights, so they uh, they don't let us film. I wouldn't film it anyway because it'd take all the fun out. Right? You're setting your GoPro up. Um, but yeah, they don't. But I mean, I think it's on the ESPN's YouTube channel. It's Steph. Steph stays slim. With, uh, Hi, Steph has, has put. Um, why does he never really train for Nathan's? Would be great to do a series that, um, and they call it Road to the Big Wiener. I imagine that'd be a shit series to be fair. Like you said, you're- I like the name though. Yeah, the name it's, a, is it's good. a great name. Um, although it sounds like a kind of a, a documentary leading up to some kind of corrective penis surgery, isn't it? Road, Road to, to the Big Wiener. Um, I, I, don't do, uh, I don't do it stuff just because- um, I'm not motivated enough to do it. Like to me, I just want to turn up and just try my best on the day because I can't, I don't have it in me to take it as seriously as all the rest of the people. To me, it just seems crazy to just sit there or stand there even. And God knows, like I said, from March through to July, try and eat as many hot dogs as you can. I mean, if anything, you're going to be sick of hot dogs by the time you get yeah. there. And it, I should probably do a couple of practices, right? That I wouldn't film, but I should probably do some practices before just to try and get the technique down. But I just, I, I'm too, my motivation is to make good videos, yeah. right? It would, what it would take for me to do well is to go out to America, say next year or the year after, go out there two weeks beforehand and just practice with hot dogs, you know, three times a week, which I'm not going to do because that's the time I could be making videos that people enjoy watching ultimately. It's also a convenient excuse when you do really badly. <laughs> yeah. Um, MC Eerie. McKeary, maybe. Um, your routine, the day of eating. What's your uh, What's your day look like on the day of Nathan's? Yeah. Uh, I, I, normally, I, I try and wake up early ish and go out for a bit of a walk uh, th- through Manhattan, get some drinks like I did this this year. I'll normally get back to the hotel and uh, like do some stretching, like the stretching I did in the cake video. Oh yeah. Like I'll do that quite a lot. Um, and then I will. You, you have to be actually in the lobby of the hotel like seven thirty. So you get your briefing, then you have to get on the the bus, which is always a laugh. Um, and that's with all the rest of the eaters. So everyone's just taking, uh, you know, videos and and pics and stuff. And I'll normally eat uh, some like things that are easy to digest with ha- lots of sugar in them. So like I have uh, Hershey's chocolate because it's not really chocolate, and Sour Patch Kids. And I actually eat quite a lot of them. People usually there's a bit of a running gag now that amongst all the rest of the eaters, they'll be like, oh, yeah, fill up, beard, fill up. I'm like, yeah, well. I never come off the stage feeling full anyway. So it's, it makes more sense to me because it'll give me more energy 
Well, it should give me more energy than the rest of the people on there because they're all like mega fasted. But I need to, to eat quickly. I need to have something in me. Yeah. So in my, you know, that needs to be eating something. <laughs> um, so I normally eat like high sugar things. So I eat like half, I ate about half a bag of Sour Patch Kids this year. I think it was nerves or something. I don't fucking know. But uh, yeah, I just scoff some. Then you just wait in the green room for the rest of the baking hot green room where at least this year they had the a tent. fan. Yeah, it's just a tent with a fan where the cooking hot dogs like right next to you. Oh, yeah. Um, which smell nice, but after a while, obviously, kind of gets a bit old. Then you just try and sledge all the rest of the eaters. I just spend all the time just mocking everyone. You're right there, mate. Just re- I'm wearing shorts. I, they, <laughs> Peel your bollocks off your legs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm readjusting. But yeah, that's, there's not much, much of a routine. A lot of people, other people do like mega serious stuff. Stephen P. Wright 5 said, How does it feel having performed like Josh? Sorry, that is really hard. <laughs> Josh sorry. wouldn't have managed 29. <laughs> I mean, this, it feels the same every year. So I, it's obviously like a twinge. For me, like after the contest, there's a twinge of regret, it, especially if you had something encouraging happens like this year, having done two in a minute to end on what could have been 29 if they did the same deductions as last year, but 26 ultimately means that like I did something right in the middle of the contest. So that's always encouraging. But really for me, as soon as the contest is over, I'm not sad or anything. I'm just looking forward to the session. And normally it's when I'm on the flight home, maybe I'm thinking... Oh, maybe next year I should try, but I, you know, I never do. So uh, I, I don't know. I just feel like I maybe, I know people get disappointed, but to me, like I said, I'm just there to try my best and it's not, I'm not, I'm not a great eater. I'm just uh, here to try and entertain people. That's my thing. Danny VDB7, is it possible for a Yorkshireman to out chug a pint against Badlands Booker? A pint? a pint? I think it would depend heavily on what it is. If, if maybe a pint of like uh, a pint of John Smith's, I think I might have a chance, but I don't know, man. Something about, but I'm not very good sugar. I was, I used to be all right, actually. I, I, I remember doing, never do this, by the way, but I remember doing, because it's really dangerous, but I remember doing like a gallon of, uh, of liquid in like, I think like 40 seconds, which is all right. That's pretty quick because I'm small as well. But like Badlands is, I don't know, man. Like it's, it seems like he, I know he's pivoted towards doing chugs, but he was, he's a really good, he was a really good eater in his prime. But like he's he's mad at chugging. I don't think I could chug a gallon of lemonade in twenty three seconds. Yeah, but it'd have to be something probably gross because I think that maybe like slow him down. Uh, <laughs> maybe gravy. Good old you know a bit good good old, good old bit of gravy. Karen dot Hepner, uh, did you shit whole hot dogs out the next day? <laughs> laughing face. I, no, I didn't. That, that, that's fortunately that's never happened to me. I think that would be a bit worrying. Whole mushrooms, yeah. Whole hot dogs, no. But um, I felt all right, honestly. That's probably the best I've ever felt after. Uh, after the contest, I had some more food after as well. And like, I felt a bit peckish and I had some beers and I felt fine. I had the, a bit of the, uh, the old beer shits the day after, but like, oh, nice. wasn't that bad. <laughs> Holly March said, um, what eating place are you in the world? Still number one in the UK, of course. <laughs> you fucking dropped down, didn't you? I like I spotted that, like when we were making that. I don't know, is. man. Like, I, I don't know when they do, I think they, the worst part for me is they do the rankings right after Nathan's. So they're basically, d- don't really take into account anything else. So they won't take into account the fact that I came second and wasn't far off winning tamales, right? And that I beat Michelle and Michelle will still be ranked above me, even though I think I beat her at the last, I don't know, three times of competing against each or something. But um, I think I'm ranked, am I 15 now? Because I said 13. 15, yeah, you've been saying 13 for last year. And then well, I, I, I genuinely thought I was 13. <laughs> so they must have knocked me down. But I'm below fucking Steve Hammond. I don't know how that happens. I'm never, I don't think I've ever lost him in a contest. No, not Steve Hammond. <laughs> it, Steve's a nice guy. I'm sure he doesn't <laughs> Fuck you, listen. Steve. He's a very nice That's guy. That's not what he says when cameras I, are not rolling. I, I, I was, no, I was sad not to see him this year. But um, <laughs> yeah, 15, I hope, I don't know, because um, a lot of people in there, they're like, Stoney's still in there. Stoney's fucking retired. So I don't know why Stoney's still in there. Probably just for the clout, I guess. It looks good that he's yeah. on the roster. But um, I think realistically, if they were to take into account all types of food, I should probably be about, probably about 50. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Chris Railston, is there anything you would change to your <laughs> sausage gobbling technique for next year? Everything, everything. <laughs> I think I would, I should really try and, uh, I promise, right? I'm going to make an a, a exclusive promise. If I do it next year, if I'm there next year, I will practice at least twice some kind of technique, at least. If, 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 even if it's like f- five minutes or something like that. Um, because I think the key to it, everyone doing big numbers does two hot dogs at once. Like I look like an idiot on stage because I'm the only guy there, I think, doing one hot one dog and snapping it. Um, so I would try and try and figure out how to do two, but it's, it's weird for me because it's like... Uh, I don't know how to get like two dogs in my mouth. Like everyone else seems to be well versed in doing that. And I feel like maybe I, maybe they all spent time in prison. I don't know. But like, 
I feel like it's really hard for me to get my head around that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and my mouth. So like everything I would change about it, yeah. But my, my, my bun dunks this year were actually all right. So. Uh, Chris Ashworth one said, um, always wondered if there are any obvious cheating going on. Yeah. Big up beard. Go on then. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, not... I don't want to say obvious cheat. Nobody, I, as, as far as I'm aware, no, I've never seen anyone obviously cheat to the extent that they are trying to really, really break the rules. The The only thing you could kind of classify as cheating is people eating messy, but really that's not cheating because the whole point about major league eating is it's properly officiated, right? The, there are numerous referees and that's why you get deductions at the end. So... People accuse other people of being messy as, you know, people used to say that about me a lot, but I'm by far, I'm nowhere near the messiest, right? Um, and you just kind of eat messy and then you just think you're not cheating. It's They're going to deduct afterwards. So if you've made, if you eat like messy, it's quick, quicker to eat messy and then be deducted than to yeah. try and be really dainty. And also you don't know how, how strict they're going to be with debris. So if somebody's eating really messy next to you and you don't, and then you get, and they don't get deducted. Like I didn't get deducted one dog last year. Yeah. And I was messy as hell. And Joey never gets deducted. And he's not, he's a clean eater, but he's not, there's so, going to be some debris. Yeah. So, um, so Joey Chestnut's a cheater, right? No, Joey, Joey's not. Joey Chestnut's only ever eaten for. If you want to call the, the people, <laughs> if they, if you ask all the people in MLE who are the biggest cheaters, they're probably going to say my, my, my name's going to be up there. Oh yeah? But I, not because I cheat, because of the sledging beforehand, because if people are on stage next to me, I might give them a bit of a nudge, <laughs> I'll like, knock the water a bit. But, um, it's not, it's not willful cheating. It's just the, you know, trying to be, trying to get, get it right when it comes to the debris, you know. Gideon's the fucking messiest. I know that because he doesn't, he doesn't listen, but um, he's also a legend, so. Ronnie Westerby has put, uh, expect to see Josh taking the main stage. Hey, me and uh, Sister Beard might be on stage next year if we can get this get, arranged. Get, get that, that qualify. Get that, that Where qualify. is it? Oh, it's in like... I think it's in Bournemouth or something. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm not going to Bournemouth. Uh, yeah, and I've seen you. You eat, you're, you're not like a, you're not. You a, said I had potential when I was doing Yeah, you did, but you, you kind of, you're one of those guys that like, you, you're worse than me in terms of your mentality. Like you're just going to get sick of it after three dogs and think, fuck this. I know, yeah. I get my game face on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would love to, I would love to see it. But, it's uh, speed though. That's the thing. Like when you did the chicken wing challenge, there wasn't, you weren't in a mad rush. But it depends. The difference is like, Depends who, one after the other, isn't it? It depends who's going to be there, though. That's the There's only really one other dude in England that's going to be there and do well. Who? The guy called uh, Max uh, Max V Food or Max Versus Food. Oh, yeah. I only know that because he talks to me and he, he actually did a, he didn't sign the contract, but he, I think he's got family. I'm sure he told me he had like family out in Philadelphia or whatever. So he went to visit him and they had the strawberry shortcake contest, which is an MLE contest, but it's always like really, the attendance isn't that good. Yeah. So they let him compete without signing the contract. And he did really well, to be fair to him. So I think he'd probably be interested. And then the big barrier to people in England to get in there, if you're going to qualify, is you've got to fly out to qualify, usually. Oh, of course. They don't right, normally yeah. have qualifiers in yeah. England. So that you have to pay for that. And okay, you're going to get your flights back out there for the finals. But if you don't win the qualifier... Yeah, it's cost, yeah. So like, if he ever wanted to do it, it would be dumb of him not to do this one because I'm not going to be there. And... Uh, there might be an American guy there who, who comes over to try and win. What, to the English one? Yeah. Oh, so, so that, that one place doesn't have to be for an English no, person. Uh, they uh, might, I mean, MLE might kind of like try and block him and say like, that I don't do that. But I think it'd be really cool if there were an American guy there that won it. Who's could, it going to be? Leave it out, leave it out, Josh. Yeah. Don't say who it is. Well, you won't even know who it is. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you won't know who it is, but like if he does go, like, I want him to win I want because he's one of my best mates in the... Oh. In the eating uh, world, so like I'd be pulling for him rather than the uh, the British British guy. Okay, fair enough then. Uh, have we got any? Uh, have we got a breaking beard? We've got a breaking beard. Yeah, <gasps> it's, it's been the. I haven't had my brain tested for a, for a, a while, so I'm looking. I wonder forward where to we this. are in the rankings. Does anybody know? Oh, no, I was man. <laughs> you had the forfeit three weeks ago. But... Breaking beard. Who wants to go first? I feel like Josh because I've just spent this whole podcast talking about shit. It's okay. tiring. Okay, Josh, first question. Which of these bones is located in the arm? Patella, the fibula, or the radius? Come on, lad. I'm trying to think where the, where the patella is. Like, I feel like that's... He does MMA, this guy. I know, I should know this. You should have comprehensive knowledge of what bones, bones you're going to be snapping. Snap? <laughs> uh. 
What, what is it? Patella. How much time are you giving him, man? Like, did it. Patella, fibula, or radius? Patella? No, no. Radius. No, he said it now. You can fuck off. Your patella's in your. You can fuck off. He said it now. Nah. You can't, like, say something. I laugh, and then you say, no, I'm changing my answer. It's not your patella. Radius. It is radius. I don't know whether I should give you that one, though. Should we give him half a point? Does that make any difference? Just tell me where the other ones are. So you tell us your... Tell us your kneecap. Uh, yeah. What was the other one? Fibula. Is your leg. You're, and your radius is... You have the radia and ulna. Um, is radius like, like your forearm? I don't know. I think it's yes. forearm. Yeah. I don't know, Jeff. Should know that. My bad. All right. Question well. for Adam. In which year did the first colour television come out? You remember it? this, you, you old bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dinosaur. <laughs> is it? It's nine... been my birthday since the last episode. Oh, yeah. 38 years old. I can't believe you made it. Happy birthday, man. Sorry, George. What were you saying? Uh, is it 1928, 1936, or 1954? First one. First 28. Television. I'm going to say 28. Just because it seems like it's too early. It is 1928. <laughs> that surprised me. Yeah, because like the it's a bit like uh, you know electric cars technically came out like twenty years ago. Don't get me started on those, by the way. Oh, it's the Tesla, Tesla giving up. Going, it's getting. I'm, I'm bidding it off. If anyone wants to buy it from me for like twenty quid, you, I might give it. Uh, to you. Uh, wait, what's happening? What's going on? He keeps giving me this message, right? So it'll say like uh, <laughs> speed limit to forty eight miles an hour when it's like fully charged and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm like, all right, that's cool. So like, uh, I guess I'm getting wherever I'm going. <laughs> How much did you pay for that? Like seventy thousand quid. Sixty five grand it was, yeah. Shit. That was all like that, that was business deductible, right? But um, So you're limited to forty mile an hour. Yeah, it like it doesn't do it all the time, but like it just kinda of come up out of nowhere. Forty eight miles an hour. It's, it's, it seems like seemingly random or arbitrary like <laughs> speeds. Like it'll sometimes say like speed limit to fifty two miles an hour. I know like you'll press it, right? The first time I happened, I pressed it and it says um it's something to do with the battery, right? It'll say if you get out of the vehicle and back in, this could correct the problem. I'm like this is a car, mate. It's not a fucking computer. It's not like an off and on kind of thing. Turn it off and on. Yeah, we don't really know what's wrong, but we're limiting swap, speed. Swap the batteries, give batteries a rub. That, that for them cars, man. Like after doing that trip to London with you, I'm I'm never buying a fucking electric car. In my yeah, life. I'm getting I'm getting to that point now, especially because now that it's just as expensive to fuel yeah. them up. Like I, whenever I go to America, it's like a it's like a freedom thing. You know, I go and I get a full tank of uh, petrol for like twenty five quid. Yeah, and you'll go for like five hundred miles, or I could use up. Piece of fucking shit. <laughs> sort out Elon. <laughs> All right, ready for your next question, Josh? Yeah. Uh, in the Avengers, how many Infinity Stones are there? I fucking. Have we got multiple choice? Uh, f- five, six, or seven? Five. It's six. I don't fucking. I don't watch that shit. I don't watch that shit. That's, that's your kind of speed, though. It's made I, for yeah. kids. You know? Yeah. Basically. It's fast and furious. What's an Infinity Stone? It gives you power over the uh, command of the universe, don't you? D- doesn't it? Yeah. So, something like that. I and don't he know. has a glove with five on his fingers. And then yeah, you've seen that like, hand. he thinks, I am inevitable. Snaps. Snaps. Right? But Iron Man's pulled some uh, some slight hand and he's got his own glove and he goes, I am Iron Man. And kills himself. <laughs> what well, to, to sacrifice the universe and, uh, to give it great that's context. the main point yeah yeah, just yeah. Kill, himself. Well, he kills I, himself I'd be that guy I'd be that guy that's how I go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I'd be Thanos man I don't think, why would he be the villain man he just wanted to like get rid of the, the, the problem was it was right. random wasn't it uh, yeah fucking hell you know, what's this that's... nerdy podcast you two should start your own shut the fuck Talking up about man Thanos you, you, and you, his you, fucking gimpy look I don't even like Marvel I, I'm getting sick to death of them but that would the, the way they did that was it was a feat of filmmaking so if you were any kind of self-respecting filmmaker not, you would I'm probably have watched a it I'm fucking beekeeper that's what I'm gonna do I know you keep saying that but I'm like retire. it's like a running gag and I'm thinking that one day you're gonna do it I love funny though so it might you know I should keep you on side we should start that's, as a as new new venture Beards Honey oh yeah because Breaking Beans went, went really well <laughs> people are still ordering it it's just like Breaking Bees you could call oh! it Breaking Bees <laughs> <laughs> you see, you can't, you, write that down, George. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you're on the topic of honey because the next question, one of those is the multiple choice answer. Oh. So, oh. Adam, what is the only food that can't go bad? Is it dark chocolate, honey, or canned tuna? Um, I feel like n- none of those can go bad to the point that they would, they're doing any damage, but I'll... I'll I don't really see how... How right, honey, I, don't, I don't see how honey can go bad. Like, scientifically, so I'll say honey. 
Yeah. It is funny. It yeah. can never go bad. Can never go bad. Ah, how interesting. Yeah, even they, they, can, they make it into mead as well, which of course you and I enjoy. It'll be, it'll be coming up to mead season. It fucking soon, isn't yeah. it? Summer's not even started yet. Nobody's like, giving um, us well, into when, mead you've got, when you've got videos like scheduled up until November, the last week in November, in my head, it's already December. Oh, yeah. Lindsay said to me yesterday, she's like, a bit chilly today. I might put the Christmas tree up. Obviously, she's trying to wipe me up, but I was like, <laughs> don't you dare. All right, next question, Josh. What is the oldest soft drink in the US? Is it Coca Cola, Pepsi, or Dr. Pepper? Ooh. What yeah, am I I got both mine right, right? Ooh. You've got both your I feel like Pepsi right might be older than Coke. I d I don't know that one, mate. Might, might uh, be a pure guess for See, I kinda of wanna say it's like Coke, but Or oh, Dr. Pepper. That's the unknown, isn't it, Dr. Pepper? I'm gonna I'm gonna go Pepsi. It was Dr. Pepper. Really? Yeah, yeah. You never hear those ads anymore, do you? I mean, I don't watch much TV, but you know, Dr. Pepper, what's the worst that oh, yeah. could happen? Apparently, cancer, by the looks of things, when yeah, you see yeah. that the, all diet, diet sodas are now clusters. <laughs> you know what I had? That, I'm totally going to imagine here. <laughs> but you know what I had in, uh, in America? I bought some like prime shit. I know, oh, yeah. I know. The reason I bought it, though, is because uh, I stopped this weird petrol station right and they normally you know they're like oh, they're the fucking 700 different types of drink and um but they didn't have uh like power aid or like gator light yeah. or something that's kind of got some electrolytes in when you sweat and whatnot and i saw this prime and then it was cold and chilled and whatnot i was like maybe i'll try it it's supposed to be like it's got was it 10 percent coconut water so it's gonna be refreshing so i bought it I felt dirty when i bought it <laughs> and i tried it and actually it didn't taste terrible um but i don't like i can't i can't fathom why people you know Queuing like loonies to, nah. but didn't they, they do different types? Don't they? Isn't it like one that's like do an energy drink one? Now, yeah, and didn't and you're getting sued because it's got six times as much coffee, <laughs> as much caffeine as a cup of coffee in it. Is it really? It's marketed to kids. I refuse to buy it. I see it everywhere now. I just refuse to. Yeah, I thought. But I, just, I thought I don't know what's thinking. I thought, hey, maybe I'll try it just out of for morbid curiosity. I won't be buying it again, but like it wasn't terrible. I'll be honest. <laughs> you seen their um, sponsor in Barcelona now, and the UFC. The, yeah, yeah, sponsoring everything. Oh, pro, what Prime? Yeah, yeah they sponsor Arsenal as well, don't they? Maybe we want to stop supporting them actually. So somebody like, can't support Leeds though in the Championship now. <laughs> when people say they want Prime Barca back, that's not what they meant. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Wee. That's not your joke, right, George? No, no, good because it's that. terrible. But uh, <laughs> right, last question. Who was the last question for? It was for Adam, wasn't it? Yeah, that was oh, jo- yeah. Josh's last question. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm winning. I can't lose it, can I? <laughs> really. <laughs> What is the highest grossing game franchise to date? Ooh. Is it Pokemon, Mario, or Call of Duty? Oof, I think that's got to be Pokemon. I want to no. say Call of Duty, but no, I loads of people, but Pokemon. No, I think it's got to be like... Ooh, but I mean like... Call even, of Duty or Mario Kart. Even Mario... I'm, I'm going Call of Duty. I'm, I'm saying... Po- your question. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to do this one, Josh. It's been I'm, a fucking minute. I'm, I'm saying Pokemon. Just going for it. It is Pokemon. Oh, is it really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I did that. Shit, they're bad. That yeah. Me. Have you got any statistics to like give us context or that? that is it just it? No. I think the, just whatever Google says. <laughs> not, not the, the order that I read them out in is the order they actually are. So Mario <laughs> is just below, and Call of Duty is just below that. Yeah, I don't. I, I, the only Call of Duty I think I ever played was the uh, Modern Warfare Two. Didn't they remake that? That's how fucking yeah. old I am now. Like they're they starting to remake too. games that like you know they do with films. But yeah, I admit mean, it was alright. I'm not really a first person shooter kind of guy. I'm really bad at shooting. I did paintball once and like I got shot, I think four times in the back after like about eight seconds. And then somebody landed in front. I thought, fuck this man. I went to stay at the back, you know, behind the tree for the rest of it. Cause it hurts man yeah. when you get by those. And then some, I saw some guy from the opposing team kind of come out about maybe as far as George is away. And I literally missed him with a paint. So I, I, it was at that moment I thought if a war happens, I'm going to either have myself declared medically unfit or conscien- conscientiously object like uh, Desmond Dawes in uh, Axel Ridge. <laughs> we went out, we went to a, on a stag do to one a few years ago and uh, one of the lads with us was a proper dickhead. And as soon as we set off, you know, like the, the start two teams, like one on that side and one this side, everyone's in camo, masks on, and this fucking dickhead sprinted out in front of us. So I just shot him in back at head, you know, where the, the strip. <laughs> and, it's, and obviously he turns around, he's fuming. I'm going to fucking clue it is because it's just nine more lads in camo and masks on. I'm like, this is a crime that you can just get away with committing. <laughs> that was a fucking hell. Savage well. in the head, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I was yeah. surprised by how much it. We should have a breaking bread paintball. No, let's not do that. That's, I don't want to say that. <laughs> you get shot it back ahead. So we just go have some beers instead. Some, yeah. some well, pie. you keep telling us we're gonna have like a staff party or something. <laughs> it's only me you in charge. <laughs> well, we get Mike along and oh yeah, I'd be allowed to play. That's it, isn't it? Uh, Mike and that's, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody want to come? Anybody? <laughs> Anybody in the comments? <laughs> Listen to the podcast. Right, what's next? All right, should we finish on a fesso? <laughs> it's time for a fesso. Can't say, Mrs. Start booking your flights now, Adam. <laughs> I'm already there, man. I'm ready. I'm off in two weeks, man. <laughs> Finland, here I come. Never been before. Why Finland? Got, I've got a mate that lives there, so he can like facilitate in translation and whatnot. And is there eating challenges out there? Yeah, there's quite a few. That's why I'm, I was, was going to go out to Germany and then I thought, well, I don't really know anyone that lives in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> 38 years old, these are so, dropping so, again. Fuck, my solid eating I've been doing. Um, so yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to go there. Plus it's not far, man. It's like, you know, it's two hours. Yeah, yeah. We so. need to do the maths then because I'm away three times this month as well. I'm going yeah. to France, Prague and somewhere else. Well, sorry, right, Judith Chalmers. We'll suss, we'll suss it out, man. It'll be all right. <laughs> 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 okay, here's his first vessel. At school, my mate told me if I wanted a good wank, I should put some sellotape around the shaft when I'm soft, just below the bell end. Tried it, and it was the most painful thing that's ever happened to my dick. 10 out of 10 for trolling, pal. I don't really want to dwell on that. I don't want to think about it, honestly. <laughs> Maybe we're into that sort of stuff, you know. Some people Speaking are, of yeah. dicks, you sent us a video of some fella having a wank on your telly. <laughs> the or we're being wanked off. He was, yeah, but let me give context. Don't be like, <laughs> I watched, I wanted to watch it for ages. So it looked, the trailer looked like it would be interesting. I watched this film called Infinity Pool. And Infinity just, what? Infinity Pool. Is that part of the Avengers series? No, but um, <laughs> see what he did there. Um, he, no, it's supposed to be kind of like a weird kind of arty horror thing. But there's a part in it where this, this dude's peeing on the beach, you know, just relieving himself. You got to go somewhere, haven't you? And this woman kind of comes up behind him and starts you know, fiddling with him. And you know what's going on, right? So I'm like, oh, okay, so she, she, that's a bit strange because at that point she's attached to some other guy. So you're like, oh, why is she? And he's having a wee? Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, he's finished having a wee, I assume. Yeah. But anyway, um, she just, that's the opportune moment for him. She comes up behind him, starts giving him a reach around. <laughs> and so you know what's going on, but then like after, it goes on for an uncomfortable amount of time and then it just goes to a close-up shot of somebody, you know, uh, I don't know, I did the hand motion, but like somebody... <laughs> Yeah, she's like, she's just b b wanking him off, man. Were it a stunt cock or a real cock? Well, it looks pretty real. So I don't know, but um, I just thought, you're watching it, you're thinking, that's just a totally unnecessary shot. Like, you know what's... I was like, Aah! and then Lynn starts laughing because um, I'm I don't, I'm squeamish about <laughs> cock, I suppose. I don't know. I don't, I don't like seeing cocks that aren't my own. How much was that all right? Did he like Spider-Man? Did he fire a rope out? Or? It, sh it showed all the... Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it went to the point that it was like... Oh, my God. This is kind of like... if. The, you can't legally do that, can you? I don't think. Like, really on set. So, and I'm thinking, well, if that is not real, then they've gone to some effort to make that look real. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't just I sent you a picture of some dude on, like, X videos or something or, or whatever. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what porn sites are, man. Porn like, hub, probably. <laughs> but yeah, porn, I said X videos, man. Is that, is that still, that's that's got to be one. George. I only know that because like Lindsay's dad once sent me a link. It wasn't. Do, do that Whoa, so let's like, go down a fucking <laughs> rabbit hole. Yeah. The once we, he didn't send me like actually we were like we had some drinks at our house right, and he shows me this video like of like, it was something really weird. It wasn't even like a what the heck was it, man? It was like somebody having like a, a conker fired up their butt or something, and it was like on it was on that website. But anyway, <laughs> by the by. <laughs> don't, the take home is don't watch Infinity Pool because yeah, it's Adam, crap. You see this two girls won't cup. <laughs> he, he's the kind of guy that would would do that. Oh, this is Lindsay's dad. Yeah, he's not right now, oh, man. That's, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He's, he's he's unwell, but like you know, but it, it happened. Any more, George? Uh, we got one more, and it was actually a tweet from someone at us saying you need to start looking at the insanity of Reddit ships instead of doing vessels. Reddit ships. Yeah, so there's, it's basically like a, it seems like an Agony Adam thing again. Oh, um, like this relationship, Reddit ships, I get it. I thought it was like something about So it's uh, like boss. asking for advice. Yeah. <laughs> um, so my girlfriend keeps licking and eating my eyebrow hair. I know it's, oh, I lost it. I know it's as weird as it sounds. She has essentially removed all the hair in my left eyebrow <laughs> and left my right one looking incredibly patchy. I've mentioned I didn't like it and she continues anyway. Eating it? I mean, like licking it is weird enough, yeah. but physically eating it? Yeah. Um, 
what should I do? I really love her. I do not want to break up with her over this. She used to be normal until she joined an eyebrow eating discord group. We have been together for three years at this point and I want to spend the rest of my life with her, but I cannot do that if if my eyebrows (laughs) are balding. Plus recently she bought a really expensive shampoo because she said it makes them taste better. (laughs) What the fuck? Oh my God. This has become her obsession and it's destroying our relationship. I am worried for her and scared. Thank you for your help in this awkward situation. That's so weird that it can't even be fake, I don't think. It says... Edit for everyone asking. I don't let her do it. She mostly does it when I sleep, and since I am a very deep sleeper, she rarely wakes me up while doing it. Who sl- I'm well. I was gonna say who sleeps that deeply, but Lindsay sleeps that deeply. <laughs> Why do you lick her eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> what she got no eyebrows to lick. Have you seen them? Huh? Well, she, she's she not, plucked them all she's off. She's not like me. Not she like he- draws them on. She's not heavily gifted. No, she doesn't pluck them off. She's not very. She's not well endowed in the eyebrows. I, I hope I don't see this. Look, I like she's got the eyebrows. She looks like um, Uncle Fester. <laughs> She's not, but so a lot of people like you see these it's kind of like fashionable isn't it to like shave your eyebrows off and then paint them on yeah the people tattoo them on now don't they i used to work with someone that did that and i was like what i, I think i said to her like once like why like you, you it's like me i don't know it's like me cutting my dick off and then drawing biroing like a dick on my top like or people you know. putting like a line in it as well yeah. That, I can see you doing that, mate. I the can see thing. it. You can see George. Yeah, like, yeah, so you fucking I'm surprised you Get on his the, Instagram. I bet, I bet on George's Instagram is a picture of him with a fucking line in his eyebrow. Go back three him. years. He's, nah, got, yeah, he's got the go fast, the Aaron Lennon go fast yeah, straps on set. Diamond earring. We're on to you, man. Kabbalah band on his arm. <sighs> I, I don't know what I, I don't know what to. Oh, he's, he's, he's called it. It's like he's made it. He's made himself have a clean profile. <laughs> God damn it! Maybe it's always clean. We give him too too hard of a time. But uh, regarding that guy, I I don't know what to say. I don't. I mean, you, shouldn't you say stop it and then your partner respects that? If you're in like a, sleep in separate beds. Yeah, but that's actually like really good. I love doing that. I actually, get loads of sleep to the point that like I you're not gonna I, find anything, Josh. I've never shaved my eyebrow. He's starting, to sh- he's starting to shake a bit though now. That means that, means that you're going to find something. Yeah, I know. You're not going to find anything, Josh. Well, i get on his Facebook. Uh, <laughs> I mean, look, look at this. Is, is there one there? Maybe? No. I can tell you. Josh, you can't make George look bad. He's like he's like the ultimate. I don't see he's the ultimate man because he's skinny, but like apart from that, he's just, you know, he's a handsome lad. I don't think I've ever been called the ultimate man. <laughs> no, yeah. No, but you, I'm, we, we just resent you because you're attractive, mate. <laughs> and we're not attractive. <laughs> This is true. I'm happy to say it. So yeah, um, don't lick your partners. Imagine how bad your eyebrow smells as well. Fucking dog breath all night licking away. <laughs> then just dry, dry, dried sleep breath how, on I don't your even shoulder. Understand, like how you? I'm gonna try it on Linz when I get home. I try it and see what happens. You're gonna lick. You're gonna lick with the grain or against the grain? But why eyebrow? Like it's the same hair as any other hair. Uh, is it? Yeah, I mean it's like. Well, yeah, it's just like it's just. It's like like more like strawy feeling. I don't know. Hey, have a lick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not licking yours, lad. Uh, what a way to end this podcast. Yeah. Well, it's been an honour. It's, it's nice to have you back. Please fuck off again. I uh, call that, well, I am. I call that a four out of ten. You know what? The last one was actually quite good. I listened back to it. I was like, maybe we're, maybe we're hitting, <laughs> hitting our stride here, but clearly not. <laughs> the views say otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> We've changed the thumbnails and the views have gone down. Either that or the podcasts are just shit. Well, I told you that. You you started doing that, uh, like you, you making it look like AI art and like all vibrant and shit. And I was like, man, it's just like everyone else. But you didn't listen to me. You didn't <laughs> listen to the man with nearly 3 million YouTube subs, did you? No. You've escaped gravity now. You, you listen to Mr. Beast. You say, oh yeah, we better do what Mr. Beast does. <laughs> I didn't speak to him personally. Have you that, seen it? Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast? Like, I, I didn't nearly clipped a video of him the other day because I saw this video on, uh, I don't know what it was. It was a Mr. Beast video, right? And I nearly clipped it, but like, uh, you know, cropped the video to just the middle of the screen and sent it in the chat because his hands were, uh, it was just going to be his hands, clip it to his hands because he was just like this the whole time. And I'm like, I wonder if there are any videos where like Mr. Beast is just like this. Hi, I'm Mr. Beast. Today I'm going to give away a Ferrari if you, no, uh, I don't know, can run a hundred. I bet there's 400 million videos online of people breaking down why he's so. Yeah. I don't know. Like Tim Westwood, he used to do that. Oh, actually, you can't say his name. Can you? Is he cancelled? Did he get cancelled? I think he got cancelled as Tim well. Tim Westwood. Yeah. For being dodgy in the nineties. Yeah. It's all coming out now, innit? They're all going down. Yeah. I'm Your next for, beard. I'm waiting for the. I, I can't be. I'm waiting for the scandal, but I just don't think there can be one. The, the only thing. It's too to fucking cool. boring. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm just a boring bloke. It's like Killian Murphy says in that interview. He's like, people are only interested in you if you're not boring. So I try to be boring on purpose, but I am quite boring. The only, I said to Lindsay the other day, she, I was in the doghouse for a bit, because I said, the only scandal that it can be is I once slept with this girl, right? And I noticed, I'll tell you this before, I noticed on Instagram maybe like a year later she had a kid. 
And Whoa. I was like, you know, technically, I could have a chance. It's not that. It's not mine, though. <laughs> the maths is there. <laughs> it's not mine, though. I'm not that potent. No way. But that could be, that's the only thing that I'm worried about potentially happening. <laughs> like, I'm joking. right let's call it then it's been a pleasure thank you very much for listening always a pleasure never a chore although sometimes it does start to feel like a chore thanks for listening <laughs> peace